anything and above. We have citizenship for you in one country or the other. Esther, are you single? Esther is married to Jesus. Hey. Don't you people don't you people understand? Hi, Thank you. Can you people do <laughs> <understand? laughs> You know get you know get you know get command, you know get up. Simple like that. We say some boy we say person be Jesus wife. When they ask questions, say are you single again? See, you want to do you want to see marriage certificates. Anyway, that's on one side. The second question, um, somebody said that. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. It is the one and only Lady Jackson, the beautiful, who brings you spice and entertainment and celebrity gossip. And this time, of course, it's going to be all reality shades of sweetness. I didn't bring my wine today because I was rushing to bring you all this sweetness. And let's get right into it. We're here. Now, Pandemic, no, don't show us one or two things, but mm -hmm. we're here thriving and we're facing the grand finale in a few days. How has the journey been for you? Well, ha. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been amazing. I'm actually short of words because personally, I didn't expect to go this far in the competition. You know, mm. I, I, I didn't, I didn't expect any of this. I didn't expect the love from the people. I, I, I'm overwhelmed actually because from the blind auditions, yeah, it was very challenging for me. Because... Okay, guys. So of course, just like the description box below says in the title. Why did Esther Ben Yogo win The Voice Nigeria season three? That's the question, because you guys can air your views down below. Now, I just have to put it there. Esther is like literally the one of her kind of voice on The Voice Nigeria from season one to season three. She has given us vibes. Y'all even know her from like this competition. Okay, not you, me. I know her from this God's children, God's child children competition, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's it. She won the competition like four years ago. Go is fire. She was everything, every shade of amazingness. And then of course, last year she released her single, Generation. Yes, it's obvious that Esther is an amazing singer, a lady who knows her voice and knows exactly how to use it. And that's what like Nigerians have been craving for on this show. Do you of course, for those of you who don't know, Esther was on a competition, a gospel child, children singer, something, gospel reality TV shows about four years ago. She was still like a youth, like a teenager kind of thing. And as she won the competition, she was fire. I can tell you that. And watching that show till this point, her voice has been amazing. It has blown over time. And then, of course, on this The Voice Nigeria competition, she blew us away with her auditions. It goes on in your mind. You sing and everybody does. Some people will be crying. Some people, yes, I'm sobbing myself. Some people will be crying. So much spiritual work. So, but, so... If you are putting in the faith, if you are praying, if you are meditating, 100%. if you are studying, yes, you are putting in, I said, solely by God's spirit. Hmm. Solely by God's spirit. I like that. Yes. See, there's two comments and questions that I've seen in the comment. The first one is this. They keep asking. Esther, Esther Benyogo has literally been a strong contender because there's like no other voice like hers on the show of course every other talent the top six are amazing in their own ways and it is a thing of joy to see that this reality tv show is giving us what we've craved for now of course what do i mean by why did esther ben yogo win the voice nigeria have you seen instagram and twitter have you seen tiktok and facebook literally every gospel system church gospel artists pastors places she has ministered people who watch her down the gospel competition are rooting for her joe praise moses bliss um what's their names nigerian actors and actresses stella damascus like literally people are investing millions of naira on the vote should i feel it's going why should the shadows come? And why should my heart feel lonely? This only tells us that the church is behind Esther. And yes, of course, we have another church girl, church woman on the competition who is uh, Naomi Mark. Naomi Mark is literally the most versatile of every contestant. But of course, let me get back to my topic. 
the love world system i mean the christ embassy who literally have been the church who has raised the highest number of the international gospel artists in nigeria is gunning for uh esther ben -Yugo. i mean by the time she's done they're going to sign her that's not a topic to talk about T.Y. Bailo, who had featured her in like a worship session, is getting her on the albums. Like, go, you didn't go. Hello, for heaven and home. When Jesus is my push. Like I said, Esther Ben Yogo's single, Generations, which came out last year, is going to be the real. Um, next message she will um, excess love because that song is amazing and trust love world by the time she's out and they collab her I be collata yes collata collabs everywhere Joe praise uh, just literally everywhere we're going to see another new vibe and I feel one of the reasons why Nigerians loved her enough to have voted her to this point and of course I believe she's going to win the show is because We've over time seen uh, people who were from the gospel scene come into competitions, leave and don't do anything. In fact, some of them, the only one that did leave, won and came back to do gospel was Mesha Chingo. And that's the thing. Nigerians want to always get back to their religious, you know. Mm. Come, stand firm, is he? His eye is on the sparrow, and I know. With that said, I know you have a lot of beautiful things you have to make use of your time for, but don't forget that today is the last day of uh, voting, so you need to keep voting. You can vote 50 times for one um, Airtel or MTN line. Of course, if you have those lines abroad around Africa, you can vote, but those are the only networks you can vote from. So by 12 midnight today, everything is done and the Nigerian um, Next Voice Nigeria has been crowned. So get your things straight. And that's a wrap on today's particular video. Of course, this particular video because I'm still bringing you another one. Duh. Duh. <sighs> it's always wonderful to have you here when I bring you all this spicy juice with this beauty. This beauty. You understand now? BB Niger season six. This is season six. Yes. Season six is launching on Saturday. Next tomorrow. <laughs> and you know, it's going to be all about the analysis. It's going to be all about the buzzwords. And everybody that Nigerians are going to drag on Twitter. I'm going to be bringing you as if they hot, you know. With my full chest. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell button beside for notification of every post I make. Don't forget to like and share this video. Because I know you want to. As God blesses you. Uh-huh. I'm going to be coming back with my, you know, my lollipop and my juice and wine. See you there.